We in the kitchen cooking some homemade meatloaf. Got a pound of ground pork and a pound of ground beef. About two tablespoons of ketchup. Some Worcestershire sauce. Some Italian seasoning. Use as much as you want, a little as you like. Gonna follow that up with some smoked paprika. Make sure you got the oven preheating at 350 degrees. Using some dried parsley flakes. You can use fresh, because fresh is the best. Follow it up with some black pepper. Like I said, get the oven preheating 350. Using a small onion. Oops! And a splash of milk, which was a cup. Try not to splash it. Three fourth cup of panko bread crumbs, followed with two large eggs. Gonna mix that all together. Now the catch is don't over mix it. Please don't over mix it. It will make it tough. Get that all nice and incorporated. And like I said, please do not over mix this meat loaf. Make sure we get all those onions back in there. Now I got a baking dish that I sprayed some cooking spray in. Now let's form this in the shape of a meatloaf. Now you can use a meatloaf pan, but I like to have mine in a bigger dish so that the juices can run everywhere when it's cooking. But the main thing is it's going to stay inside the meat. Going to put this in the oven, 350 like I said. Now we're going to make the glaze for this. Using like a cup of ketchup. You can use barbecue sauce, whatever you like. Follow that up with some onion powder and garlic powder. With some black pepper. And can't forget about the brown sugar. Please use that brown sugar. Mix that all in. Get that nice. And that's it right there. Hour later. We throwing on that glaze one hour later. Get that all glazed. Put that back in the oven for another 25, 30 minutes now. 25, 30 minutes. We got homemade meatloaf. Please let it sit. Please let it sit before you cut it. Because it won't look like that if you try to cut it right out that oven. We want it to stay together. Meat loaf that you can make yourself. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you like what you see. We got meat loaf and baked potato.